how do you eat a factory? I think a lot of people always ask me that and then my way of eating ho is because you cannot like that bite ma. So I will just twist it. You no, know, instead of factory like that. Then you just twist it and then you bite from the side. Yeah, you bite from the side. So you can like get everything at one go ma. Because if you bite from the top, it's really very hard to open your mouth like if your mouth very small. But if your mouth big then easy la. Hi everyone, my name is Bernice. I'm the founder of Sweetie Patisserie alongside with my mum who's not in the not sitting here with me. And we are located at 183 Jalan Palikat 0137. My mum's name inside got a Sui, so she wanted to do something that kind of repre represents like both of us, but mainly cause for my mum law. Just wanted Sweetie to represent her, like she started this. So continue with going with Sweetie Law. At first it was more, we thought of different names, but I don't think it sounded very chinche, not very smooth, very friendly. So just went with Sweetie Law. I actually graduated from Poly in 2019. Then I was working odd jobs la, all the way because I didn't want to go study uni first. Ma. So uh, for that whole one year was mostly working, working part-time event shop. Then one of my mom's friends actually approached her to ask if she wanted to start supplying cakes to Hai Ti Lao. Just one outlet la, at the start because uh, she know that my mom can bake. So she approached my mom first. So my mom agreed and we started to supply to Hai Ti Lao those kind of mini cakes la, as well as other companies la, but just very small cakes. After that, my mom went back to work. She's just working outside, la, just those normal jobs. This shop became quite empty. No one came here. So I just decided to start new products for Sweetie and that's how I came up with bringing Facturons into Singapore. So Facturons is like the fat macaroons that is very popular in Korea and I realised that Singapore no one does it. So I just decided to do it and do a twist of like local flavours. So at the start, we'll make the batter and then pipe everything. Uh, I use the mold uh, to follow because I need every shape to be consistent. Uh. After that, I will let it dry, let it sit and then I will prepare the filling. Currently, our classics, we have 8 flavours. So I will prepare the base for the buttercream and then let it cool and then we start whipping it. Once everything is done, we will start assembling. Then pipe, do the filling. After that, let it sit overnight in the freezer to let the flavour sit. Uh. Because once I send it out like that, it will melt. So definitely have to let it sit overnight in the freezer. The Fakurons, the most popular is the creme brulee. Creme brulee is one of the very first flavours I actually created for Sweetie. I started to venture out, instead of doing like classic flavours, I wanted to do more localised flavours like Onne Onne, Kaya Toast. I think the most interesting one was Bakwa. We do bakwa, but I don't have to use pork bakwa, so I just use all the chicken bakwa. Although we're not halal certified yet, but yeah, I try to keep it in that range lah. I still try to come out with new different flavors each time. I won't get sick of the onne onne. The onne onne is still my favorite as well lah. I would say it's one of my proudest factory flavor lor. But at the start, really I sit here ta changing ah with my mother, you know, like no business at all. Then the fragrance, uh, at the start, I think not many people like to cause get very sweet. I started in Christmas 2019 when everyone came to self collect. I really over here like kalang kabok, everything very messy. Then standing outside waiting for my order, but all of them were very patient. La. It's just that it felt very bad because I didn't know how to cook. And back then it wasn't a lot, just that it was the start, so it was very hard. La. Yeah. Right now I'm still learning. I wouldn't say, you know, I'm a professional baker because. I really got no background of baking, still trying to learn for myself and I still feel but yeah, well, trying my best to bring the best to all our customers. Uh. Actually, a lot of people got different style of fakirun. To me, fakirun is must have like, you know, two, two layers like that, like pui pui one, like, like that, one twirl, like fat fat, like that. Yeah, I will pipe like two layers and then I'll put the filling, like. some will have filling, some won't. Like. How do you eat them? I think a lot of people always ask me that and then my way of eating ho is because you cannot like that bite ma. So I will just twist it. You no, know, instead of factory like that. Then you just twist it and then you bite from the side. Yeah, you bite from the side. So you can like get everything at one go ma. 
Because if you bite from the top, it's really very hard to open your mouth like if your mouth very small. But if your mouth big, then easy lah. About circuit breaker last year, my mom, she has been wanting to do durian cake for a very long time because she really, really loves durian. But I hate durian a lot. I damn hate durian. You still hate durian? Yes, I still hate durian. <laughs> no change. Uh, okay, so my mom bakes the durian cake. She makes, bake the sponge, everything, and then I just focus on the faculons. Yeah, but the only thing I do inclusive of durian is the mao san wang faculons lor. Still a bit cannot tahan the smell, but you know, it's my livelihood lah. Tell me, mama, you have not fought, you know, fights. Yeah, we just like go outside one on one, right? Yeah. <laughs> no lah. I think my biggest takeaway from working with my mom is. We need to learn how to compromise to each other's differences a lot. Yeah, but I learned a lot from her because honestly, my mom is a really, really good baker. She can cook very well and she can bake very well. She knows a lot of like hands-on things very well. Lah. Just that um, I think because I'm someone who is very headstrong with my opinions and my mom as well. So that's why we need to learn to compromise to each other a lot when we started working together full-time. Definitely, we want to build Swedi into a bigger brand, open a physical shop soon. Like, not just walk in, as in, like, do walk ins and all that. Because now we are purely an uh, online business, so there isn't any walk in available. So, we hope that we can bring Swedi in the near future la, a few different outlets, different shops, and also like cafes for people to sit in and eat in. Oh, uh, have you ever thought of up the point? God, a lot of time. <laughs> Because we do online business, we keep fluctuating ma, the business. So at days, definitely it's quieter. On days, very busy. So there were times where I just sat here thinking, can I build Sweetie better? Because I'm still new to the whole business concept, baking everything. So sometimes I don't know whether I'm doing it right. I will just sit here, you know, emo, and think like, what should I do better to improve Sweetie? And then definitely I got think of maybe I should just drop it and go back to work outside. But then again, I keep telling myself that I just want to faster build up Sweetie so that you know my parents don't have to keep working outside so hard. I every time I talk to my friends about Sweetie, and then I think about them, then I will feel a bit emo, but I try not to talk about it. I'm not gonna cry. I can, I'm gonna hold it in, I'm gonna hold it in. Outside cry a lot of time already. Today I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> what I have to say to all my customers is that I'm very thankful that uh, we got a lot of returning customers and I really remember all of most of the customers because as we are still a small business, every customer really counts and I'm very thankful that you guys keep coming back to support us. Just very thankful for all of that. Uh.